Hi, I'm Eric Pratt from US Broadcast Distribution. And today, we're going to take a quick look at the Switchblade um, Splice. This is a new product uh, from Switchblade, which has two inputs, two SDI 60p inputs on it, as well as the ability to do HDMI out. Uh, it has new BlueFX Express, and it has vMix HD on it. So there's a couple of different applications that we get a lot of questions on, uh, like how to bring in a PowerPoint presentation uh, if you're using this as a uh, to live present in a conference, for example, um, or how to get the HDMI out of the system. Um, so we're going to go through a number of different common uh, questions that we get about the splice today. First up, we're going to discuss I.O. How do you get things in? How do you get things out? So the uh, Switchblade, as I mentioned, has two SDI inputs on it, and we can bring in, um, today we have uh, two SDI cameras. We've got a PTZ Optics camera, and we have an ADA PTZ camera feeding SDI, and we have that on program out. So you can see uh, the two cameras coming in, program and preview, uh, from their two different directions. And those are our SDI ins. And then uh, to get SDI, um, to get HDMI out, we use this USB-C to HDMI connector. So that plugs into the USB-C port and that gives us an HDMI out. So that makes this a two SDI input, one HDMI output switcher. Uh, additionally, you can record, you can stream to Facebook, you can use the external function to connect to Skype or Zoom. So those are the general how you get things in and how you get things out of the splice. We also get a lot of questions about how to do NDI with the splice. How many channels of NDI can it do input and output, people wanting to use it as an SDI to NDI converter, um, NDI to HDMI, how do you get these things in and out? How many can it handle? So I'm going to walk you through uh, how to set up the UI to output your cameras as NDI. So here are our two, again, our two SDI feeds coming in from these PTZ cameras. You can go into output slash NDI, then under additional NDI outputs, check cameras, calls, and audio inputs, and set that to NDI on. So with that on, the NDI shows up in any other system on the network. So I'm going to go over to the system that we're recording this on. And we can see when we go to add input, NDI desktop capture, down here under the list, this is the splice system over here. You can see we have the display set up uh, because that's coming over via um, the desktop capture utility. And then we have uh, analog capture one, analog capture two, and then uh, vMix's output. So you can see the two outputs here. Uh, we could name them something else. Uh, and what we've done is we've imported them into um, vMix. So you can see here's uh, that camera coming via NDI. And then if we do a dissolve, so these are the two cameras that we're bringing in via NDI and then back to uh, this is the recording of the desktop so that you can see that we've added um, the two cameras coming over via NDI. So that's how to take the SDI signals and output them as NDI to another system. And then uh, we can also do the reverse is also true. So if we go back to the splice, so here's the splices UI again, and I'm going to go add input NDI desktop capture. And then from this list, I will take a feed from uh, the other computer. So I'm going to take uh, the camera coming in. So here's this camera that I've been doing the intros with. And whatever's on program is going to be going out via NDI, um, or is going out from, is coming in NDI and can go out via HDMI or any other method. So that's an example of taking. Um, the NDI feed and converting it to the HDMI output. And we've also done SDI to NDI. So this can effectively function as a bridge between SDI, NDI, and HDMI. So those are the different NDI IO options. 
And while we're talking about NDI, we should also talk about desktop capture. Desktop capture is the way that you would bring in something like PowerPoint or any other application running on any PC or Mac uh, that uses a little application called vMix Desktop Capture. And we're running it here on the Switchblade to capture the UI for uh, this little overview. And we've set it up on another system, uh, which will uh, output the capture of a, uh, a presentation. So we're going to select NDI Desktop Capture. And from this list, I'm going to select uh, Open Office, which is what I'm running the presentation on. And you can see that it just pops up as an input here. And as I move through uh, that uh, presentation, it updates uh, in real time. Very low latency update, uh, perfect for things like games. And we can use that to mix uh, NDI feeds of uh, captures of other desktops with our SDI uh, feeds so that we can transition, picture-in-picture, picture, et cetera. So that's, uh, that's how you do the different inputs via desktop capture using uh, NDI. And then we also need to discuss um, the fact that all of the splices and flicks come with um, New Blue Effects Express. And New Blue Effects Express is a graphics program that lets you do overlays, lower thirds, uh, social media, sports, um, Express is a, uh, a particular version that uh, is a lighter version of their application, and it's able to communicate with um, vMix via NDI. So I'm going to show uh, two different methods of using your New Blue, Effect, New Blue Effects Express license with the Splice. The first is locally on the same system. So I've uh, opened it up, and we're using a very small monitor here, so the, the very small monitor doesn't give you a lot of room. Um, you can use a larger monitor with uh, the splice, or you can even use a second uh, monitor if you're not using the HDMI out as a program. Um, and if neither of those is true, we'll get into the, the next use case in a second. But if you can run the same application, uh, you can, uh, I've loaded up two graphics here. This one is a, a social media one, which we can plug your Facebook uh, feed into New Blue Effects and take in uh, different um, social media posts into your live video. Uh, and then another example is a lower third. And they come with these fancy little audio effects too, which you can turn on and off. And how did we connect those? Um, first, we went to outputs and we set up NDI in New Blue Effects Express. And then in vMix, um, we added it as an NDI stream. So here locally, uh, you can see it show up as 01. We could rename that to something useful. And that is this input, and we can turn it on and off uh, within vMix. So if you, le if you left it up or the person operating vMix wanted to turn that DSK off, um, that overlay off, they can uh, control that that way. And then if you want to run uh, New Blue Effects Express, your license from another system, uh, you can do that as well. Um, because it's via NDI, it doesn't have to be run on the same system, uh, and that's advantageous from both a, a logistical standpoint, another operator can uh, use it, and then from a, um, uh, a resource utilization standpoint, uh, we can run uh, another uh, copy of New Blue Effects Express uh, on another system. And so I have that coming in via this NDI. So here we have our two SDIs, and then we're overlaying our, our graphic, and then we can step through uh, the different transitions um, to our different video inputs. So this is like our page. Uh, these are just a couple of examples of the, the kinds of uh, content that come with New Blue Effects Express. So um, that is how you can connect New Blue Effects Express to um, the, the Splice. And if you want to, you can um, license it on uh, another PC than the system that it comes with. And that's if there's any questions about New Blue Effects um, and Splice, please feel free to reach out to sales at Switchblade Systems or Eric at usbroadcast.co. Thanks.